Uh, good morning. It's Monday morning and it's time for Rich's Reviews. Um, we're going to start out with a futuristic movie called Looper. As you might notice, I actually have an actual prop. These are the coats that the bad guys wear and the mob in the movie, The Looper. So uh, the director, Ryan Johnson, very good friend of mine, uh, lent me this nice jacket to wear through my review of his movie. Okay, let's start off. The movie starts uh, with the characters, which is Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who is young Joe, and Bruce Willis, who is old Joe. Uh, it's a futuristic action thriller taking place in the year uh, 2075. Time travel is available on the black market, and the mob sends their targets uh, 30 years into the past, and a looper, otherwise known as an assassin, uh, takes out that person and is awarded with silver bars, which is the currency of the time. Um, <clears throat> there's pretty good signs of the future with uh, solar panels on the cars and uh, see-through computers on the uh, in the library as Bruce Willis is doing some research. Uh, and there's a great action scene with Willis using futuristic uh, weapons when he's taking out the uh, uh, the mob there. Um, the end ties together pretty good with uh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and uh, Bruce Willis uh, kind of dueling it out at the end and uh, with some help from Emily Blunt because she's trying to protect her son who uh, who has a big part in the movie which I don't want to spoil it for you. But uh, my rating for this one is uh, pretty good and uh, I would suggest if you want to see a futuristic uh, time movie this one would be a good one to add to the list also with... Uh, Chronicle and In Time. Those are other two other good ones. So tune in tomorrow and we'll see what we have for you. Have a good day.